So CAR T cells are one of the most exciting areas of research in multiple myeloma. Currently, immunotherapy is a big thing in multiple myeloma. Here at EHA, we've seen two abstracts being presented. One is from Bluebird Bio using the construct known as BB2121. This is a third generation car using um, stimulatory domains within the T cell. And these are for relapsed patients with multiple myeloma who failed most standard therapies, including daratinumab. What we've seen in the first in human dose escalation study is excellent responses. We're seeing responses above the 50 million dose at 100%, so remarkable responsiveness, particularly in patients that are refractory to daratinumab. Clearly, you have to be careful with T-cell therapy, and there are significant toxicities, which include cytokine release syndrome, as well as neurotoxicities, and both were seen in the Bluebird Bio data set, but importantly, they were very manageable, and there were no significant events seen. Now, we also saw a second data set from a Chinese group, Legend Biotech, and this is a more smaller company, and we didn't really know much about them. However, again, remarkable activity was seen in these results with 100% clinical benefits seen and remarkable CR rates. The median lines of therapy was three. What we did see, which is really interesting, was that five patients had a duration of response greater than one year. And this probably has one of the longest follow-ups and we've never seen this sort of data before. And remarkably, those T cells seem to have disappeared long before the duration of responses were seen, which is remarkable, and they're talking about potential cures here. Again, we did see cytokine release syndrome and neurotoxicity, but these seem to be manageable. So in the UK, we've been working within our own organisation at UCL, and we have our own car construct, and our trial is now open. And what we've done is taken a different uh, aspect to the current way of targeting BCMA. We're using April, and April is the body's own natural ligand that targets both BCMA and TACI simultaneously. And we hope by having this bispecific car that we'll have more specificity and more potency with our car compared to some of the single therapies. And finally, importantly, we've built in a safety switch, which means that if we do have significant toxicity, then we can delete these T cells and turn them off. So this trial is now open and recruiting in the UK.